turn are going to figure out. Okay? And I can't wait to see what it is. All right? Uh, now, let's see. We're going to go on now. All right? To the lightning round. Okay. Wildfires. I only have one thing to say about wildfire. Well, bad news travels like wildfire. Good news travels slow. They all call me wildfire, but everybody knows I'm bad news. Everywhere I go. And there you are. Uh, crowns. Now, crowns actually, this relates to wildfire because um, one of the most dangerous form of wildfires is something called crown fire. And that's where the fire jumps from tree to tree through the leaves, okay? It, like, goes through the canopy. And that goes really, really fast. Because leaves, once they start going, they burn very quickly and very hot. So it spreads really, 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 really fast, okay? Um, so you got to watch out for crown fire, although I'm sure it's beautiful. Okay, as far as crowns go, crowns are actually a great way to relieve stress. If you come home and you're really stressed out, your best bet, I made this little number out of pewter. Um, which is lead and tin, so it's got a nice little heft to it. Slip one of these puppies on, you'll find it, it's like it's like you're getting your head massaged constantly. There's something really like nice about that feeling, about that weight, you know? Um, so yeah, I think everybody should wear crowns. I think it should come back into fashion, you know? It's not just for the royals anymore. Flower picks. Okay, so my uh, my photo profile on uh, on Facebook is me coming out of some flowers. Uh, that was taken during a recent trip to the Netherlands. Um, you can go out in the, in the tulip fields there, and they grow shit tons of tulips. Um, and you can just kind of swim around them. So that's what I'm doing there. I think I'm doing a, that's an elementary backstroke. Okay. Uh, lastly, Lake Malawi and its snails. Uh, so Lake Malawi, it's a, it's a lake in Africa. It's a pretty big lake. I think it's like in the top ten worldwide. But the problem with it is, is that it has these snails in it that are with us. See, this is the thing about Africa, is this is where humans evolved, so this means other animals have evolved to, like, depend on us a little bit. There's this certain species of liver fluke that, that relies on humans and these snails in the water as a sort of a, a two-step process. So they, uh, they, the adults meet in your liver and mate, and then they shit out eggs. You shit out the eggs into the water. In the water, the eggs hatch. They turn into, like, these little free-floating swimmer nymphs, okay? And then when they reach adulthood, they get back into the human into the bloodstream, and then they find each other and have sex like that, right? So it's, it's while they're in the water, they're in the snails, though. I forgot to mention that, right? So the real problem is that um, people keep swimming in this, and this causes a syndrome called schistosomiasis, which is really bad. It doesn't really kill you. It just makes you, oh, blah, because you have, like, these worms fucking in your liver. So it kind of slows you down a little bit. Um, it's kind of lame. It's like malaria, okay? Um, but people keep swimming in the lake, and the reason for this is there was this guy called Hastings Banda who controlled Malawi, since it earned its uh, independence from the British in the 60s. Um, and he was kind of a tyrant. Ooh, you know, whatever. It's Africa. That was kind of the thing at the time. And because of tourism issues, he really didn't want this business with the snails and the schistosomiasis coming out. So he kind of kept that on the DL um, for tourism purposes. Anyway, um, that's it. Um, I'll leave you with, with this question as an exercise for the student. If a secret occurs in the forest and no one is there to view it, is it still a secret? Anyway, let me know what else you want to know.